Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be going over this epic gear map that has appeared in my test region. Now, I'm unsure if this gear map is actually out in any real region or not, but I know that it does show up periodically here. It's really curious to me that this roadmap does exist and that it exists with pretty good gear. Like this is the gear that everyone's really looking for and the energy costs are pretty fair. Um, I'm kind of curious just to know like if anyone's ever seen this map in any of the regions. I know that in some of the newer regions, there's sometimes additional roadmaps and stuff. I'm just wondering if this is a common roadmap that other people have seen because I would love to pick up some uh, some tripods for my blue tunes or some practice dummies for my red tunes, uh, gauntlets for my green tunes, and I think it's knife sheaths for my yellow tunes. And then of course the watches and radios. I am constantly out of watches and radios. The S-Class tunes needing five times the amount of irregular gear is really killing me. And I feel like it's killing a lot of different players too. It's making it nearly impossible to level up some of our S-Class characters. Great, we can achieve and uh, work towards S-Class characters, but if we can't level them up, well, that's a big problem. It's like there's one bottleneck after another. I know some of my friends don't have enough Ascendance medals so that they can level up their five stars to six stars that are like S-Class tunes. And this bottleneck is actually preventing some players from even pulling off of some of the premier wheels. At least that's what some people have told me. Because if they can't level up the tune anyway because they can't get the gear, well, why, why pull on a character? And I totally understand that. Like for me, even as a free-to-play player, I'm running out of gear and that's having a negative impact on my level up events, of course. I've been getting more trainers and stuff because the war crates have been updated and you can get like Burt's, Brady's, uh, Basil's, and Benedict's. Well, that's great. It's great to have these uh, trainers, but if I don't have the gear to actually like level up my characters, having all these trainers really doesn't help. So I just, I, I feel kind of stuck. Like, I have a number of characters that I would like to level up, but I'm just really lacking in the gear. And as a free-to-play player, there are some very specific tunes that I decide when I need to level them up or who I need in order to be successful. And I just feel like my growth is further stunted by this. And I know that a lot of other players also feel this way. It can be very frustrating at times because... It feels like your progress is just stunted. It's stopped. And everyone kind of likes to feel like they're accomplishing something, or at least I know I do. Whenever I feel like, oh, I just got a new tune, I'm going to level them up, it makes me feel good to be able to level up that character, especially if I've been grinding to get that character. Like right now, I am very close to my S-Class Shiva, but I know that I'm very sparse on tough gear. I know that I only have like two or three watches and radios and I'm going to need at least five to level up my S-Class. So even though it's taken me months to get this character, I know that I won't be able to max them out for a long time. I think I only have about three characters that are maxed out with full veteran rings and maybe a fourth is on the go but everyone else is like tier three, maybe tier two, a few tier four characters, but no one is no one is going to be maxed out anytime soon. So I will say that I'm a little curious to know what all of your opinions are. Like this map exists, I just don't know where it exists. So my first question is, does it exist for you? My second question is, do you think that this is good value? Personally, I think it's great value. The amount of energy that's needed, I think, correlates well with the amount of gear that you get. And it's a good variety of gear. And it's an alternative source to just the League Store. Where you have to buy all the items in the League Store before it goes on a 7-day cooldown. So I think this would be a great map to introduce. I think it would really help a lot of players out. And it feels like it's just a map that's been needed for a while. We have a bunch of other gear maps that we can... um participate in like with basic gear but to get fourth tier and third tier gear that would be something huge I think for the game so I guess my next question is would you benefit from this map do you think the energy cost is fair is it something that you would farm weekly and I sorry not farm but participate in 
I don't think that this is a map you can actually farm for more gear in, but just the gear that you're getting in general I think would be a huge boost. And I guess it's also nice to see that the difficulty level of this map isn't very high. It's something that I can auto through, and yes, I do have like three S-Class characters on the team, but the team grade isn't very high, so anyone would be able to finish it. So everyone could participate, everyone would be able to benefit from it. Overall, I think this is the type of map that the game really needs at this time, and I'll be interested to know, based on the comments, who has been able to get this map. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching and listening to my video.